Hello again and welcome back to our course on OneNote 2016. Earlier on in the course I demonstrated handwriting in OneNote 2016 and in this section I'm going to add a few details about how to handwrite with OneNote 2016. It's quite a short section but I'll start by looking at using the pen and explaining that in a bit more detail. I'll do some handwriting and show you how to select handwritten text and then I'll demonstrate erasing handwriting and finally we'll take another look at converting handwriting to text. When it comes to handwriting you need to use the pen tool which is available on the draw tab on the ribbon. If the type button is selected that means that what OneNote is doing is expecting you to use the keyboard but if you select the pen so let me click on one of these pen options here you'll see that the type button is deselected and it's now expecting me to use the pen. You're going to need to experiment with the thickness of pen to use which will best suit your handwriting. Various factors will come into play here. If you're handwriting and you're not intending to convert your handwriting to text then provided you can read it you can choose any color and size of pen and so on that you want. If you are planning to convert your handwriting to text you probably need to experiment with different thicknesses of pen to find out what works for you. Also bear in mind that the color that you use for the pen may greatly affect how easy it is to read both the handwriting and other things on a page. If you look at the drop down here you'll see that I have some favorite pens up at the top there, the ones that I've used the most. I have some built-in pens, that's standard combinations of color and thickness. And I also have pen mode. At the moment we're interested just in handwriting, we'll be looking at drawings later. But when handwriting, make sure you have create handwriting only or create both handwriting and drawing selected for any particular pen that you're going to use and as soon as you start writing on the screen provided you've got a pen selected your handwriting will appear and then you may or may not want to convert that to text later. If you don't like any of the standard color and thickness combinations there is a color and thickness dialog if I select this color and thickness button here up comes the dialog and you can choose a color and thickness to suit your requirements better. Note that apart from the pen option which you would use when handwriting or drawing there's also a highlighter option if what you're actually doing is highlighting existing content on a page. I'm going to stick with that pen there, the one that's selected there and I'm going to now write on the screen. It's very important to point out that how good any conversion you do is going to be will very much depend on how good your writing is. When I handwrite I tend to separate letters but in fact I found that when using handwriting with OneNote if I want to convert it to text it's best to do it as what I would call joined up writing. So I'm going to do some joined up writing now. Now notice that as I've done that writing it's not particularly legible to me, I hope you can read what I've written but what's really important to me is whether OneNote can make out what I've written. So let's try ink to text. Note that it is highlighted which means that OneNote realizes that I've handwritten something on the screen and it is prepared to try to convert it to text. And there we are, the child is playing. Note that because I put the word playing on a second line which I did because I'd run out of width as far as OneNote is concerned it doesn't assume I'm working in the same sentence or the same paragraph or anything else it just tries to put all those words in their relative positions. Note however that all of that text is in a container so if I subsequently click inside the container do a bit of judicious selection, click on delete, put a space in, I've restored that text to a single phrase. So in this case my handwriting was pretty well recognized by OneNote. Now note that I've done the ink to text but I can undo that and go back to 
the original handwriting and it may be that in a particular case if I'm not converting handwriting to text what happens if I want to move handwriting around well in order to select handwriting you can use that lasso tool that I showed you earlier in the course so if I select lasso select what I can do is click somewhere outside the text and basically lasso it make sure I get all of the text inside I can hover over that selection till I get the four pointed arrow cursor and then I can move that handwritten text around on the page and something else you may want to be able to do is to erase some handwriting there is an eraser you can use it with handwritings and with drawings but the eraser is used for drawn content it isn't used for typed text let me choose say the medium eraser this time and let's suppose that I want to just rub out that last word I just use it as I would a normal eraser note that ink to text is still highlighted so when I do my conversion the conversion still works fine and just a couple of other quick notes related to converting handwriting to text in my experience if your handwriting is fairly consistent and you can read it yourself you can get very good results converting handwriting to text in OneNote and handwriting can be a convenient way of recording content particularly for example if you're in a quiet location where you can't be tapping on a keyboard and particularly in situations where you're confined in space or you're restricted from using a keyboard for some other reason being able to handwrite on a screen can be very useful and another important point to make is that OneNote does support multiple languages when it comes to converting handwriting to text I haven't used this very much I've used it a little and I have found that it's most successful when working in the default language the primary language so if I change my whole office setup so that my primary and default language is Spanish then handwriting in Spanish is converted to Spanish very well I've had less success switching between languages and from what I've read and talked to other people about other people find that this can be a little bit tricky as well so if you need to use multiple languages you may need to experiment with that quite a bit to make it work successfully for you but that's it on handwriting I'll see you in the next section hey everyone Ava here Thanks for watching. If you're not a Simon Says It subscriber, click down here so you don't miss any videos. Click over here to check our complete training course at simonsaysit.com. And click down there to see the complete set of videos in this playlist. We'll see you next week with additional videos.